This tutorial will show you how to create and edit movies within QuickTrain Modeler. For this example, we'll be working with a LiDAR point cloud in which I've used the AGL tools within QuickTrain Modeler to compute the height above ground for each and every LiDAR point. I also have some image data loaded in as a texture. I'll begin by creating a space to edit my movie. I'll right click on Movies and click Create New Movie. Once my movie's created, I'm going to create bookmarks. Each bookmark will represent a stopping point in the movie. In this particular example, I'm interested in highlighting vegetation conditions along this utility line. I'm creating bookmarks at key points along the utility line that shows places where we have vegetation encroachment issues. Once I've finished creating bookmarks, I can use these bookmarks to establish keyframes in my movie. To do this, I'm going to right click on the movie and go to edit. I'm then going to click the button to add all of my bookmarks as keyframes in the movie. I'm then going to move over to review timeline mode. I can click play and review the entire movie. The final step is to generate the movie. I'm going to click on the AVI file output button to specify the location and file name. I'm going to accept the default settings and click Go. I'm going to accept the video compression default settings and click OK to start generating the movie. As soon as the production process is finished, I can open up the movie in my media player. Setting States gives you the ability to choose what layers are displayed for each keyframe. For example, for my first keyframe, or bookmark number one, I might want to have the imagery displayed to provide a better overview for the end user. So I'm going to select my first keyframe, turn on the imagery, and click the Set States button. Clicking on the second keyframe, bookmark number two, you can see the state has changed. Now let's go to Review Timeline. When we press play here on the timeline, you can see that for the first keyframe the imagery is displayed, but it transitions to the AGL point cloud for the second keyframe and all remaining keyframes. We might wish to pause at a particular location in our movie for a set period of time. We can do this by establishing what's called a hold time. To set the hold time, simply select the keyframe, right click, and choose Set Hold Time. Hold times are established in seconds. In this example, I'm changing the hold time for keyframe number 3 to 5 seconds. Now let's go and review our timeline. The gray area after keyframe number 3 represents the hold time. You'll see when we play the movie that it plays through as before, moving through keyframes 1 and 2, but then at keyframe number 3, it does the pause for 5 seconds. We can add annotation through our keyframes in the movie editor by right-clicking and choosing Overlay, Add Overlay. The annotation tools will appear, and we can draw shapes and add text. The annotation tools allow you to change the color and size of your text and shapes. To highlight your text, simply draw a shape over the text and then right-click on the shape to send it to the back. You can then use the context menus to adjust the fill colors and outlines. Overlays are associated with a particular keyframe, so when you're reviewing your timeline, you won't see the overlay appear until that keyframe has been reached. It's also important to note that the overlays associated with the keyframes are not synced to the original bookmarks we generated in the table of contents. The transit time is the amount of time it takes to move from one keyframe to another. The default setting is 3 seconds, but you can change this by right-clicking on any keyframe and choosing Set Transit Time. You can see the effect of the change in transit time when we move over to the Review Timeline tab. The transit time, which is the blue bar, has extended between keyframes number 4 and 5.
In this video, we've touched on some of the basics of creating and editing movies in QuickTray and Modeler, but there's a lot more that you can do. So to read up more on movie creating and editing, please visit the QuickTrain Modeler help and always check back on the Applied Imagery website for new video tutorials.